We're going to go play an FIU team that uh, is coming off of a, a big road win for them. They're coming back home. Uh, we need to go get a road win ourselves. And so I uh, felt that they were very focused today and uh, didn't feel like there was any hangover from, from the win on Saturday. And we're right back at it and excited to, to get going. After giving the fans a wonderful surprise last Saturday at home with a stunning victory over Fresno State, the football Huskies begin the second half of the season with more hope and confidence, and that begins on the road in Miami against the Panthers of FIU. Man, Valetudo this week. All right, his spirit when he walks in the building every single day is unbelievable. It's inspiring, okay? The ability that he's worked to carve out a role in this football team, man, it's special. It's special. Okay. 23 carries last week. Oh, yeah. 23 carries. 105 yards. 105 yards. Hey, man. Hell, hell of a job, Devontae. Let's do it again. Do it again. Hell of a man. Don't be what UConn coach Jim Mora this week called one hit wonders after last week's stunning win. The freshman quarterback, Zion Turner, played his best half of the season. This is a homecoming game for him tonight. What do you think this young man's thinking in front of friends and family tonight? Could, could be some additional pressure on trying to impress the home folks. And uh, again, another injury, but this one's not a season ending one. No Durante Jones tonight. Obviously, that's going to have an impact on the secondary. Talk to Zion Turner every week for the last two months, and it just, he's not a flappable guy. I mean, I think he relishes the opportunity, he's excited. He's one of the 14 UConn players who are from Miami. And he also knows about this kind of hot, humid weather we're having. Hey, run on those two, one, two. Everybody's bought in. Everybody's invested. Up the intensity. Let's be freaking great tonight. Let's reach our potential. Let's do all we can do. Do everything we can do in our power to win this damn game. Okay? Be, be great. Be the best. Every play, be your damn best. Hey, it's time to freaking level up oh, yeah. in everything we do. Yes, sir. It's time to level up in everything that we do. Our intensity, our energy, our focus, our concentration, our freaking effort, our will to win. Yes, sir. It's time to level up. We, we met a standard last week. We raised that thing and we go get it again. Yes, sir. All right, play together. All right, play for each other, okay? Have some damn fun, cut it loose, and let's get a win. Yes, sir. Brothers, one, two, three, go! FIU and UConn under beautiful conditions, under the lights here in Miami, getting set to the opening kickoff tonight, a Saturday night affair between UConn and Florida International. Takes the snap and drops the ball, it's loose, it's picked up by the Huskies, Jackson Mitchell. Wow, how did that happen? It was a mishandled handoff, and it bounced to Jackson Mitchell, and he returned it six yards, and UConn turns over FIU. Off the right side, he breaks into the middle. He's loose at the 40 into FIU territory. To Rosa, and he dives off the right side, breaks a tackle, cuts back left. Close to the 25 yard line, and Rosa still doesn't go down. To Rosa, and he blows into the end zone off right tackle. What a nice block he got that time from Christopher Fortin. Number 67 opened up a nice hole, and Jake Wadone as well as the right side of the UConn offensive line got Victor Rosa plenty of room to run, and he punches it in for six. The throw, the pressure on him, now he's gonna run. Up the right side, he throws down the field, intercepted! And running it back is Trey Wortham to the 30, still on his feet, and Wortham down at the 37 yard line. He stepped right into it, and Trey Wortham now has interceptions in the last two games for the Huskies. To Zion, throws quickly, and caught by Jolie! In the middle of the field on a slant, he's got big yardage inside the 30 yard line. UConn 
leads by 10-7, and a penalty flag comes down late. Rules might have been roughed up. One of the kickers, defense number six. So it is first down to Victor Rosa, dodges a tackler, stays on his feet, and there's the sign, it's a touchdown! Victor Rosa, great balance, took a hit, spun into the end zone, and UConn extends to a 13-0 lead. Houston sweeps right, across the 20, 30-yard line, 40, Houston stays on his feet at the right sideline, gets a block to the 30, and they finally wrestle him down at the 24-yard line. Devontae Houston, Huskies extend to a 17 to nothing lead with a minute three to go. Walter Ryan almost lost the football, now he fires, intercepted on the left sideline, Trey Wortham, 20, 10, knocked down at the eight yard line and with 47 seconds left, the Huskies have a golden opportunity to extend their lead. High snap and Rulis kick is up and it is good. So UConn literally steals three points in the final minute of the half as the clock ticks down to triple zeros. And they go to the locker room with a 20 to nothing lead over FIU. We're on 20 to nothing, you know what? Guess what, 2022 UConn, that ain't good enough. Officially, that ain't good enough. to Rosa, who breaks a tackle up the right side of the numbers. Rosa on the run to the 50, the 40, the 30, the 20, and Rosa is knocked out of bounds at the two yard line. What a burst from Victor Rosa. Zion turns, they sweep. It's a reverse to Millen. He's in trouble. He eludes a tackle, he throws the end zone like butter. Ooh. It's caught! You know Touchdown! Oh, nice. And how about this? Game. Zion Turner is the man that made the catch! The gloves, and you exactly can't put six on a board! Nick Charlton threw it up on a chalkboard up, board somewhere, and it turns out to be a touchdown for UConn! Looks right, under pressure, gonna run! No, he wants to throw, he overthrew his man, and complete! Fourth and five, and that ends the threat. UConn gets the ball. Keeps it! And he's in the open at the 40, the 30, the 20, the 10, touchdown, Cam Millen! Wow, what a sleight of hand, and the Huskies have put this thing away! With under three minutes to go, an RPO sends him to the exits. Millen will take the knee. And FIU, I don't think, is going to call another timeout. So UConn 33, FIU 12. The Husky Revolution is fully underway. 33-12, the final score from Miami tonight. Congratulations on a, on a hell of a win, okay? We said we had to take the next step, which is going on the road and getting a hard fought win. We did that, okay? We did that, so congratulations. We get to go on the road again and prove it again. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay? So let's double down again. Let's get to 500 yes, with four games to go, yes, and then let's see what happens. You know what I'm saying?